Walter White is said to be the smartest character in the Breaking Bad universe. Yeah, he is. He is smarter than you. He is luckier than you. Well then where does he rank on the purity test against the best cooks we've seen in the series? Number 5. Declan's Crew. You produce a meth that's 70% pure if you're lucky. Number 4. Todd from the Welker Gang. Purity rating? 76%. Uh, nice going, that's Thanks, Uncle Jack. Number three, Gail, Gus Fring's star chemist. I can guarantee you a purity of 96%. Number two, Jesse Pinkman, 96.2%. Yes! And that puts Walt at the top with a purity rating of 99.1% pure. That last 3%. It may not sound like a lot, but it is. Walter White's Blue Sky dominated the markets and quickly became widespread across the United States and even began reaching parts of Europe. In this industry, there wasn't a single character that could compete with Walter White's expertise in chemistry. It's grade school t-ball versus the New York Yankees. I don't consider him a professional. If he's not, I don't know what that makes me. But intelligence is more than just knowledge and chemistry. So how smart was Walter White actually? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. Walter White was extremely talented at creating his own gadgets that could get him out of tight situations. Notable examples of this include that amazing automated machine gun turret in the final episode, the homemade car battery that he was able to create while stuck in the desert with Jesse, rice and poison from castor beans, and let's not forget his own explosive fulminated mercury crystals. Now, what are Walter White's biggest accomplishments? Yes, he studied chemistry at the California Institute of Technology. Yes, his work in 1985 contributed to a Nobel Prize, blah, blah, blah. All of this is boring when you consider the fact that he pulled off the biggest train heist in history. Yes, bitch! More than Butch Cassidy's 1899 Union Pacific heist, more than the Newton Gang's 1924 heist, and even greater than the Great Train Robbery of 1963. That's right, in season five, Walt and his team stole a thousand gallons of a solution that would yield 7.4 pounds of product. Walt himself outlines the math in a deleted scene. You times that by a thousand at $40,000 per pound, and that comes to $296 million. More than all the others combined. The team pulled this off flawlessly. Their plan was to steal this solution by draining it into their own plastic tank hidden in the ground. They'd replaced the solution with water, giving the appearance that the Chinese supplier watered down the product and covering up any indications that it was stolen. And the best part of this heist, they pulled it off flawlessly without anyone knowing they were there in the first place. Well, almost flawlessly. No! No! They say you're only as good as your biggest weakness. So what are Walt's weaknesses? Well, number one is definitely public speaking. 53 crashes throughout history that are just as bad or worse. Okay. But his biggest weakness has got to be that goddamn ego. This whole thing, all of this, it's all about me. It doesn't matter how smart and capable he is when his decision-making abilities are being tainted by arrogance. And your pride and your ego. But I guess there'd be no Breaking Bad without Walt's fragile pride and ego. At the start of the show, Walt is faced with two main problems. Firstly, he's struggling to provide for his family despite working two jobs. And secondly, he's diagnosed with cancer and facing a massive medical bill. Of course he's conveniently given a way out in the fifth episode by his old friend Elliot, but it's Walt's pride that leads him to turn down these offers, choosing instead to start his own criminal organization with an old student who he happened to fail in chemistry class. Not a cook. By sheer luck, and I guess a bit of skill, the pair end up becoming massively successful and making a fortune. But Walt quickly realizes that now he's just got a bunch of money that he can't spend without drawing any unwanted attention. When Sol gives him plenty of ways to clean this dirty money, he refuses to accept a method that doesn't showcase his intelligence and abilities. It cannot be blind luck or some imaginary relative who saves us. No, I earned that money, me. For example, his son Walt Jr. sets up an online fundraiser, and this would have been the perfect cover-up story for how he suddenly got access to so much money. But Walt the genius refuses to go down this path, disgusted at even having considered this as an option. You're thinking that I should be funneling my money into my son's website, but absolutely not, no. It's surprising to see the man who took down Gustavo Fring making such careless errors in his judgment. 
because, well, Gus was a genius level businessman. He's the proprietor of Los Polos Hermanos, a highly successful fried chicken restaurant chain which he strategically uses as a front for his real cooking business. Walt does the same with his job as a high school chemistry teacher, but he's nowhere near as cautious and calculated as Gustavo Fring. It should be much, much harder for people to track you down. One thing we should consider is that Gus was a career criminal. This was a Gus at his highest level, whereas Walter never lived up to his full potential. And we as the audience were simply watching the first few years of his criminal career. With that being said, Gus was more intelligent when it came to business and juggling the interests of third parties. He was playing chess against Walt while simultaneously running multiple business empires and while dealing with the cartel. Unfortunately for Gus, he'd ultimately lose to Walter's academic superpowers and his ability to improvise. But we can see that Walt was envious of Gus's professionalism. And the pair are similar in the sense that they hide in plain sight with a very convincing positive public image. You see, Gus acts as a booster for Albuquerque's civic causes, such as funding the DEA office. In addition to befriending the special agent in charge, Gus makes large donations to the office's charitable events and he's also a member of the hospital board. But Gus is far more convincing in hiding his true identity, and we'd eventually see Walt attempt to imitate this style in season five, episode nine. I'll make up with you while. That'll be 1495, please. Despite Gus's genius level IQ, Walt has outmaneuvered him on many different occasions. He was able to have Gail terminated just before getting whacked himself. He was able to piece together that Gus was the one who notified Hank about the Salamanca twins. And of course, he was the only person to figure out Gus's one and only weakness. But does this mean Walter White is smarter than Gus? It's entirely arguable that Gus Fring was always smarter than Walter White, and that he was better at engaging in criminal activity than the impulsive celebrity chef. The creator of the show, Vince Gilligan, noted that Gus Fring's intelligence created many problems throughout season four. The creation of such a smart and talented villain meant that his death was incredibly difficult to plan out. The writers of the show were questioning how they could possibly develop Gus's first real mistake on the show, and they ultimately decided to conclude his story with a mistake relating to emotional intelligence rather than pure intellect. We don't want it to, to come from stupidity, our best thought and what we wind up going with is it comes from emotion. This decision was made not only so Walter Victory would feel worthwhile, but also so the legacy of Gus Fring wouldn't remain tainted in retrospect. <laughs> Despite losing to Walt, I still put Gus on top as the smartest character in the series. But a Walter White that got to live up to his full potential would most definitely be the smartest. As Hank wisely put it, Walt was the smartest person he had ever met. But he was too stupid to see that Jack made up his mind 10 minutes ago. 